kind of I world hate when that happens. What kind of world do you live in? Oh, we're going to go live just about two, um, 10 seconds ago. <laughs> okay. Oh, we did already? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, sweet. I was playing a little joke on you on the dork table on ah, the 12th well. of October in 2019. What do you think of that? Uh, uh, uh. That's just pretty freaking cool. Right. Do you know in seven days it's going to be 10, 19, 20, 19? How freaking cool is that? <sighs> yeah, I'd just be a... In a place. Oh, there it is. Now it's dork table. <laughs> I, I'd just be, you know, having a big time thinking about those numbers. They're a little messy. Anyway. Ah. Welcome anyway. to the Dork Table. That's Gramsci over there giving me all the static. Yeah, yeah, thinking about going out and picking up dog poo. But mm. on the plus side, mm. on the plus side, mm. it is frozen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, you could really do some damage with that. Anyway, hey, Grimner. Yeah, I could, hey, I could sling some shit and it would be hard. Oh, I saw that coming. <laughs> Is it coal or is it shit? I don't know. Why don't you taste it? It looks like a baby Ruth. I think you should taste it. No, thank you. Anyway, thank you, Grimner. You're welcome. Oh. So thank you, you, you Grimmie. Bots and body duty is on you today. On this. Do the bots and body thing? Uh, yeah, on the dork table. Wow. Who does it better than you? And I'll, I'll try not to interrupt you when you do it. Too often? Yeah, right. <laughs> Barman is right up top, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. Sorry, Weather Dork and Vanna, but he is. He really is. In any case, got Grimner, who is the RLM god, don't you know? Grimner. And the lovely Moose Coil. Moose Girl. Yeah, and they had Freaker's Ball last night. Once again, I did not stay up. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to where I just have to go to bed early. I, I'm a power down. Wait a minute. Are you, goes down, wait a minute. Bed. Are you being what? sexist, making fun of men with your I couldn't stay up comment? <laughs> if it comforts you to think Well, they were talking about sex bots on the chat site today, so it was on oh. my, it was on my mind for some reason. More of that artificial intelligence, eh? <laughs> okay. Ninety nine percent pure. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Anti. I see Anti is here as well as the Asmodeus Asmo. We've got Asmo. some Jalcedoni going on as oh, well as an Echelon. Oh, my goodness. Yours truly is here, Graham Z. Miss Mary. As well as, yeah, that Java, 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 Dr. Uh, Java Dr. Coming out the kazoo. He's That's got right. seven to do laundry for. Good Lord. Well, at least it's not because he's got the large balls. I don't want to know. Many children, large balls, lots of clothing. Same thing. Ah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I also see Meister Brower is here as well what as Father Gander. Hey, where's Vinny? Oh, Vinny got ill. I was reading his little input oh, the other night. Yeah, he said it was, well, he's typing about it a little bit, but enough to think, wow, he can't even type. He must be feeling bad. Um, Oy. Canceled his Oy, yeah. Canceled Friday's radio. Said eh, I'm dying. Eh. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I think I seen know. him earlier today, but I'm I'm kind kind of stoned now, and I don't know if it was him or Java Doctor. I'm thinking of. <laughs> uh, well, you know there is some crud going around. The farmer's son got pretty sick the other day, so. Ooh. <clears throat> and I know it sounds it almost sounds like a farmer's daughter joke, only it was a farmer's son okay. and it wasn't a joke. He really was sick out of both ends. Well Vinny does case. have dork status and I had, I felt responsible for updating everybody on his whereabouts. <laughs> oh, well thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Vinny's out in the outhouse. Yeah. I'm the, in a yeah. <laughs> I also think that <laughs> actually, we could dink. We got a poopster coming in right after Vinny. Wow. Hey, there he is. The RLM chat. Oh, Vinny's going to have some more broth and then back to bed. See, I told you. Okay, you do that, Vinny. Get well, hon. 
uh, where am I at? Kate, the lovely Miss Kate, Kate from Great State of Florida. Florida. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rob Woix is logged in. Hey, hey Rob. Hey, he's, he's an Arkansas assassin. You know. Arkansas. You know it's I Arkansas. I said Arkansas Indian. I know. I See, well, it's Arkansas, but it's the Arkansas <laughs> River. Go figure. I don't. I don't. See, when you start... Arkansas. When you start playing around with people's languages, this kind of shit happens. I know. You mess with the words, and then yeah. people go, what the hell? Yep. What the hell? Yep. In any case. In any case. In any case. Got some roams going on in the chitty chat, as well as the lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter turner bot of the RLM channel. Bye, bye, Vinny bye, bye, is bye, here bye. giving us an update on the icky, icky, sicky oh. going on. You just, you just keep that to yourself, Vinny, okay? Yeah. yeah. Um, and get better. Yeah. You know? But keep your illness. I also to see yourself. a weather dork is here. Weather dork weather is dork. having fun with the weather. And I think weather dork needs to quit playing <laughs> with the knobs. <laughs> Put right. them on one setting and leave it. Ooh, okay? nice setting. This, this whole stuff of, because I know in Kansas we had um, winter at 6 a.m. And then we had spring at 10, and then summer came in around 2.30-ish, and fall is kicking in sometime around 7 this evening. So, yeah, all those four seasons. In one, in day. one day? Yeah. You're We're welcome. That, How? We're overachievers. How? Yes, we are. I also Which see must be. Phantom. Phantom. The Phantom. Help, help. It's the Phantom. <laughs> Yes, it is the Phantom. I also see some Beetle going on in here. Hey, Beetle, Beetle. how you doing? Oh, new Starbucks CEO has admitted she doesn't like white people. How racist of her. Bless her heart. Just because their skin, it does not have as much natural Easy Bake Oven tan, you're going to dislike someone? Well, no, it's because wow. it's illegal to say that you, you hate the Jews. So you gotta, can only pick on the people that's legal. Legal Jews are Jews are olive. Yeah, but you can't you can't legal legally you cannot bash them. But you will get crushed. Well, that is true. But rotten socks. We white got some people. Rotten hey, socks I wasn't that. done. White people are on the menu, and you know, we're having a little fun with you guys. White people are on the menu. I sure am glad I'm I'm Neapolitan yeah. ice cream. Don't don't well, really not so much anymore. Take it too serious until you're on a spit with an apple in your mouth. That's the end. But all the talk in the middle, don't worry about any of that. We're just kidding. Mm. We're joking with you. Yeah, and rot, rotten socks left and rotten socks. Rotten socks. I'm thinking someone needs to. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Someone needs to do some laundry. Whoops. Talk to Java. In any case. In any case. <laughs> <Joe>. <laughs> CC66 is also here, as well as Chascura. The lovely Miss Cycles is here. Hey, no, Cycles, she, she's on the road. Your phone call. No, she's on the road from Copenhagen. She just logged on on her computer. I think I forgot oh. to turn it off. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the illusion is she's here. She'll be here soon, but not for a few okay. I missed her call the other day because I was outside mowing. Ooh, that's your fault, then. I know, it is. In any case, we got a cyborg noodle here, so it's going to be touching everyone with this cyborgian noodliness. Arr. Isn't that fun? Frumpy just joined in, too. Hi, Frumpy. Oh, no, the Canadians are here. Yeah, Kanakistan oh. is represented. Man, hide, got, hide the pipes. We'll drive them yeah. crazy for the first 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Got some E-Man here. E man. e man, just a man e -E on E. Man. Got some Ansiv as well, and look who's there, Plaid. Hey, you're here. That's me. Yeah, that's you. Aren't I He's just? It, am I not just the most fucking adorable fucking thing you ever saw? <laughs> Flash the <somebody>. buddy. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't have a bad thought with that idea in your head, unless you're sick or something. Yeah. Or maybe you, speaking of sick, maybe you like had three saltines and half a cup of broth. Oh, uh, don't! Uh, that's not my problem. It's his. He got. Sick. I know, but he's letting us all know. He's. It's a special diet that he's on. Ooh, rabbit food and what? 
Juju's. They don't do that. Juju's, I think, works. Chicken, what do they call that? Chicken broth? Juice, yeah. yeah. Chicken broth actually does work if yeah. you use, like, real chicken broth, not that shit you buy at the store. Here Moving we along. go. Hey, Gromit. <laughs> Gromit. Hey, Gromit. How are you doing? Got some JJ's. JJ's. JJ's in the jam. None. And a kiss. That's what Vinny needs. Vinny needs a kiss. No, I ain't going to do it. You do it. I ain't doing it. I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, he ain't going to do it. He, he too far away. Uh, but I'll do this. Wait a minute. You know me and my nose. What? Here, we'll, we'll give Vinny the ultimate. Right? Oh, there you go. There you go. Ta-da. He's going he's gonna to try a puff or two on a dube That's, here in a little bit. You know, that might yeah, help him, too. It could hurt him, too. But you never know. Yeah, it hurts your lung a little bit, but it might be good for you the rest of you. Sacrifice a little bit to gain a lot of it. It's my motto. There you go. Pom 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 sauce is also in the chat as well as the real Donnie Woo. Donnie Woo. Donnie Woo Woo. Woo Woo Woo. Woo Woo. Got some rotten socks. More rotten socks. How many rotten socks have we got? I I'm wondering I wondered what that smell was. I didn't think it was me. Got some smotaz going on and some the holiest Roger ever. Ever. Roger ever. And to round out the crew, we got the Picks. Z Picks, yeah. K Pax's <laughs> cousin Z Picks is in town for the weekend. Oh, sweet. Slumming sweet. with us, mere humans. Yep. Just hop the light beam. And, yeah. And you remember that? By, huh? you, you remember that film that Kevin I, Let me diddle really with your enjoyed, children. Yeah. Spacey did. Yeah. I really enjoyed K Pax. Well, his but, cousin Z Picks is here. I'm just in awe. <laughs> of course, there's also quite a few uh, Tom Hanks movies that I really enjoy as well, but I'm not going to watch them anymore because I don't want him getting royalties off of me. So, Steal it on YouTube. Do it, be the, do it the American way. No, no, no oh, okay. I've seen them. I don't need oh. to see them again. Oh, is that so? Yeah. I know. Vinny Vin- is sharing his disease while we dork. Will you? Vinny? Vinny's putting a virus in the chat. Go to yeah. your room, sir. <laughs> to your room. What are you doing here now? Go, 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 go. Viral Vinny. <laughs> so you want to you hear the strangest thing happened to me on the dork table today? The strangest thing? Absolutely what was that? strangest thing. I've never done this in the history of the dork table podcast till today. Really? Yeah. Yep. What's that? I did the notes already for the show. Holy carp. Because, see, I'd be, I wasn't reading the chat too closely, and I didn't know you were going to be here. So I thought I was doing the dork table alone. And I wanted to find something wordy and long, something to read. Uh-huh. This is what I picked out. I, I put sent you a copy of it. Well, before you do that, I just have to make this public service. Oh yeah, let's garbage about when you're till you're ready. Leave us do it. Well, public service announcement today apparently is National Farmers Day. So thank a farmer because without a farmer, you would not have food and you would not have clothes. So there you go. Yeah. Oh no, that's a rancher. No, that's a farmer. Yeah, same thing. Cow farm. Yeah, because they got cow farms here. Yeah, farmer yeah, they in got the dell. Pig the farms farmer here. in the dell. Yeah. I have a farmer in my dell. They tell me. <laughs> do you? Okay. Wait a minute. Or do you have a dell in your farm? Hmm. We need a oh, ruling. We need a ruling on the dork table. <laughs> do we have a dell in our farmer? I don't give a shit if we do or don't. I know who a dell is. She Uh-oh. sings that song "Rolling in the Deep." Oh, well. You're making yes. me echo. I am? I don't know. Just an echo. I, f- yeah. I felt like blaming you for something. And it was something well, innocent on you know on the innocent-ish side. But, no, go ahead and do your any other announcements you have. My many other announcements? Hey, it's yeah. above freezing out here in the middle of the boonies in northwest Kansas. Hey, Vinny, uh, why don't you Vinny- go ask your neighbor snot how much... <laughs> You'll get a great answer from that. 
But uh, anyway, <laughs> that was a public announcement from the dork table to Vinny. <laughs> Sorry, Vinny. I was just fucking around. Have a moment. I shouldn't pick on you when you're ill. Yay! Rob Work said all the boxes are in. Yay! Now, now he needs to take all this stuff out of the boxes. But Yay. still, you know what? It, it, Although that could be a good thing. You know, when I moved over here, I still haven't gotten everything out of all of the boxes, which basically means, from what I'm told by all of these people that, you know, like our professional don't keep that crap kind of people they tell me if you haven't touched those boxes since you moved in you need to get rid of them that's like but wait, <laughs> but wait. <laughs> i have to peek yeah she's from topeka anyway so here we are who's from topeka i'm I not from Topeka. don't know but you're from some place that's not where i'm at and that's all well, that's true you foreigner can Topeka, Kansas is way on the other side of the state from me. Yeah, That's where I, I all them supposedly that. civilized people live. Uh, I don't I don't live there. I'm one of them they're heathens out here in the boonies. There was a killer diller movie made and, and it was based around uh Topeka, Kansas, I think. Can't think of, I can't think of the movie you know me and my movie. It'll come to me when I don't think anymore. So anyway. I have anyway. been reading the most horrible shit about government, church, and religion, and education, and all these other crappy fucking things for a lot of years now, right? Mm -hmm. And the other, I don't know, maybe a month or two back, I tripped across this thing called Notice of Betrayal. <laughs> I thought, well, that ought to be an interesting little bit of writing. Let us take a snoop and see what it says. Ah. Yeah. So I posted a copy of it on the RLN feed when we opened the Dork Table podcast for your listening entertainment this afternoon and evening. Doik. Slash whatever. And, uh, Doik. Oh, yeah. No, that too. But, well, we've, Doik. We've, done, we've done a few serious topics here over the years now. Yes. Yes, we have. Well. So the and I, especially when I get on a rant and I keep interrupting you. Yeah, but this is fun. The notice, know, now I see why you do that. Yeah, it's fun. Notice of <laughs> betrayal. I'm mean, just the idea. Just what? This my brain went right to. So in mean, the beginning of it, it's got a little thank you, but I'm not going to read that stuff. I'm going to go right to the name of the guy that wrote it, and it's something by Lightbringer. Okay, and it says. The Federal Reserve is not an agency of government. It is a private banking monopoly. The policies of the monarch are always those of his creditors. Congressman Min John R. Rarick. What is this one? The crimes of public officials and persons acting in collusion with them stem from deeper hidden crimes perpetrated on the American people from unknown and unseen sources. An overview of these crimes is set forth here in. Then the thing starts. So, well, yeah. what do you think I opened up with just that little, those two little bits? Well, Federal Reserve is not a government agency, just like the Federal Post Office is not a government agency. Um People think it is, but no, it leases the uh, uh, ability to deliver the mail for the country. Um, and I believe it's a dollar a year, and they do a 99-year lease, if I remember correctly. Now, that could have changed because they just re-upped or redid the lease a few years back. But a lot of people don't realize that. Postal Service is not a federal agency. They actually have better benefits than federal agencies or federal people do. Well, why is so, it called a, a civil service job if it's not connected to the government? It's just more the bullshit wording they use on us or what? Yeah, it's it's a word game thing. Okay. It's to get people yeah. to think that, you know, just like with the Federal Reserve, they're not civil servants. They're freaking bankers. Which and is kind of uncivil servants, are. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're... You know, and I just had this pop into my – remember the old cartoons? Uh, I don't – was it Snidely Whiplash? 
where he would tie Dell to the railroad Yeah, track. that was, yeah, that's uh, Dudley Do-Right, the Canadian yeah. Mountie. Yeah. You know, snidely whiplash, this yeah. vile, evil banker, and Dell, Dell Goodbody or Dell, I don't know. Yeah, don't she remember. was the captain's daughter, and Dudley was, was like, not quite getting it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. He didn't, he, he was missing the light bulb in his thing. Dudley was just a bubble off plug. Just a little That's bit. That's what we say out here. Well, <laughs> yeah, he was <laughs> he was two tokes short of a good half, yes me. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway. His hay bale wasn't stacked too tight. So um yeah. But he meant well, once again, <laughs> that is why it's just called us. the highway to hell. And only a stairway to heaven. Because no. there's an awful lot of people with really good intentions. But man, vroom, vroom. And have you ever noticed they don't give you speeding tickets for racing down that highway to hell either? I, I know. I'm just I, off speeding today. Ticket. I didn't know hell <laughs> had authority. <laughs> Apparently, there's a lot of rules in this freaking hell place. Because... You know, they yeah. They, they know what's gonna and a lot of clocks. <laughs> yeah, you know what's going to happen. You know where you're going to be. I don't even know what well, I'm doing right now. Most of the time, people are talking. Ah, when I'm dead and gone, I'm going to go to heaven. Talk to Jesus. Well, I'm going to have a cup of Jesus. Ain't that huh? going to be a bitch when you get there and that fucker only knows how to speak Aramaic? <laughs> he don't speak oh. English because English hadn't been invented. He wasn't a peasant. He would have never had any reason to learn it. <laughs> Jesus so. will take one look at you and go, <laughs> oh, holy you... crap, I didn't know they made a shorter version of me. Uh, oh. uh, uh, uh. That was funny. <laughs> well, yeah, because of the, the old guy. That was funny. That was a classic damn dork table joke, too. Oh, Lord, Grimmy just shared a thing. Church of Sweden names Greta Thunberg successor to Jesus Christ. Well... Yeah, but read the print, church in. So somebody grabbed a hold of this, or it's more nonsense. Because, uh, look, well, I, all right, wait, wait, wait. I, I heard you. Okay, but I heard you last week, and I was nice. Okay, all right. Yeah. Autistic, schmautistic. Fuck that. The kid is uh, being pimped out by her folks. Yeah, Period. Period. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I know I'm she agreeing. is. I know, but wait, wait. Because I don't have any sympathy for all that stuff you said last week about how she interprets and all that, all that personal feeling shit. That her parents put her where she's at, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. She, she's the child, not the grown up. So yeah, find out where the money. I looked and saw where people are theorizing. I guess where the money's coming from to support the ignorant fucking nonsense. That the little girl's doing, like that sailing to the States or whatever, going by boat, but then having the people that did it flown back <laughs> and having more people flown out to take you back again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. But, and so, so, and I, so, I, wait, no, wait. You don't... they're using, I mean, these people are brilliant. Okay. Mary, they're using an autistic child that mm -hmm. isn't quite an adult, isn't quite a child either. You go, uh-oh. So, you know, if you complain or bash this kid, you come out of it looking bad, no matter what, because yeah. of what she is. Well, that's propaganda, baby. That's what the whole fucking point is. That's what Obama oh, wow. was all about. That's what Trump's all about now. They say, well, if you complain about him, it's because you have a mental disorder. He hates niggers. Went, no, I, I just don't like presidents. <laughs> so they replaced that idiot, and they got this new idiot in there. And you know what? Now I've got a new disorder because I don't like this idiot. <sighs> you have a new disorder? Yeah. What is Trump your order? Trump derangement. I think something like that. Trump. Oh, Trump derangement syndrome. Syndrome. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Well, last yeah. time it was Obama I didn't like. This time it's Trump I don't like. So instead of accepting that, hey, you don't like them, they, they gave me a disease to, to wear. <laughs> I get to wear my sign. Look at me. I'm a 
not happy with government base. You're a TDS. I don't know. What As to call opposed it? to an STD. Oh. Same yeah. letters, just jumbled up. You know, it's kind of like vile and evil. It's same letters, just jumbled up. But quinkadinkly, uh, they both mean pretty much the same thing. I don't see all this talking to Greta crap. There, there was people in Germany way before all this popularity shit came up with a fuck Greta bumper sticker on their car because she's been in this thing. It's been brewing for a long time. So where'd the money come from to put this little girl in a, the front line where the mainstream are going to see her and be forced to either mock a cripple or believe bullshit? What are you going to do? Let's see. Was that from Soros? Hey, is Soros spelled the same way frontwards and backwards? I think so. S O R O S. Yeah, he was a Nazi uh, hunter. Made his that he, fucker was. He's a, like Bob. Yeah, but he. I wonder if his first name is Bob. Bob he, Soros. That way you can uh, either way you spell his name George. frontwards or backwards. Isn't it George. I know it's George, uh, but I like Bob better. Yeah. <clears throat> Battery Bob. operated. <laughs> Fucking Mary. Wow. Wow. What did we do here? Would you like to read, Miss Mary? Would I like to read? Yeah, I don't from know. this um, oh, epic thing of betrayal that I seem to have opened earlier. Oh, okay. What do you or, want me to read? Do I don't know. Because the first one is the 14th Amendment. Yeah, that's the, where I'm at right now. We're looking at it. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Feel well, free. Entertain, entertain your minions. Oh, with and your... see, just what we were talking about: words or symbols or abstract maps that are not the actual territories that they re- uh, represent. Such as, one cannot drink the word water, and yet one can drink water. And yet, and yet, I saw something the other day. Did you know that um, water can't really be H two O because when you do the the weights of everything. It doesn't weigh that. It doesn't weigh what water weighs. You know, if you take one molecule of hydrogen and two molecules of oxygen, and then you compound it to to make it fill the same mass as what water. It actually weighs more than what water weighs. So water can't be H two O. I've seen that on the interweb, so it must be true. Wow. Were you <laughs> were you hired to do this to me on purpose or <laughs> <laughs> probably? What? Did you know that anyone, including a government, is entitled to define and assign meanings to words and symbols that it uses for itself in its own domain? Basically, just what I just did. Mm -hmm. I just went off on a tangent explaining that water can't be H2O because of the weight and the whatever. So I'm redefining because I can because it's my domain and my kingdom. And the word law has different meanings than the ordinary usage. And it said words in law have different meanings. Oh, words in law. Law. Okay. Well, the word law has a different meaning as well. You know, one person says, it's the law. Hey, I'm grammar Nazi and you don't get all nasty about it. Eh, I'm eh, not eh. getting nasty, you grammar Nazi flasheroony dorky (laughs) butt. (laughs) Well, okay, this In is any fun. case, yeah. the legal meaning of poison hmm. is not a living, breathing man or woman or transgender or whatever the hell. Yeah, that not yeah, crazy. Shit. Yeah, by legal definition, a poison is an abstract entity, a creation of the mind, such as a corporation, a partnership, or trust. Person. <laughs> Persona is a mask. We all wear masks in this world. Some of us, we would prefer you keep that mask on because what's underneath it is just flat-ass gross. Hey, (laughs) making fun of me here. (laughs) No, I'm thinking of someone else who shall remain nameless. Oh, okay. Well, I was the only one here at the time. It's supposedly a female, but I'm not real sure. I think it's more demon spawn, but... That's just my thought. 
Wow, that I'm could completely be some of lost. my artificial intelligence they're showing. Wow. You know, it's I think I'm intelligent, but it's all artificial. Are you mad because Hill Dog's going to run against Trump? Oh dear God! Well, you're having a meltdown. That's... I just wanted to know why. Am I? No, I no? am. I'm oh, okay. Reading, Never I mind. Wow. <laughs> you know how I normally read stuff. I can't just read it verbatim. I know. I have to throw my own crap own, in there. But that's why I posted the link into the thing. So if people oh, didn't so want people to be can... entertained with this crap we're doing, they wanted to know what the <laughs> hell the, the link was about. There's a whole link. Well, for, it's good I'm stuff. I'm trying to explain it to them. Yeah, but we're fucking ran on the door table on a Saturday. Well, that's so true. We're Did you know that serious. the state, as a corporate abstract, cannot create real people? Well, mm. duh. That's because... That would be like Adam and Steve instead of Adam and Eve. <laughs> That'd be like your toaster but, in a chair. Never mind. Yeah, but it can create the mask that you wear. It's Halloween every day, and it can tax and regulate and control that creation or that mask or that person. So, therefore, if you're not a person, if you're an individual, I, I am me. I am. I am. I am what I am. Yeah, that's what they there say. You go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a yeah, poison yeah, yeah. can be whatever government defines it to mean, from a citizen of the U.S. to a sagebrush, spray painted metallic green. I oh, I've never thought of identifying as a sagebrush spray painted as metallic green. Well, they're that's how they come up with this non-binary and get it into the. Uh, the legal realm. They just decide I, to recognize it as another taxable slave. Fair fucking care what you call it. Put it in I, this box. I wanna, what? I wanna identify as a tumbleweed and then that way every time the wind blows I spread seeds everywhere. And you don't know that I've been there until next spring when all of my little seedlings start sprouting and you go, Where the hell this shit come from? Wow, like a, <laughs> like a burglar. Yeah. But instead of taking shit, yeah. you leave shit behind. <laughs> yeah, I do. The burglar it's, that plants the thing. <laughs> I yeah. lost. Never mind. Go ahead. Continue, Miss Mary. Like that. This is in this treacherous Alice hmm. in Wonderland words are arbitrarily defined and changed at will. If such a thing could be, it would be, you see. Mm. But today, black can be white. And the, hey, hey, where's that Starbucks lady? If black can be white and she hates whites, maybe she <laughs> hates black. And she just doesn't know it because someone told her that that was white, wow. but it was really black. Well, the whole, you know that, that, whole that whole concept is it's it's for the ignorant in the first place to uh, to be such a, a petty uh, piece of shit, I suppose, to... to Once again, wait. the ugly artificial mm-hmm. intelligence is but rearing its ugly head. To bring it upon yourself to hate an entire race and everybody in it is kind of stupid. You can get seriously yeah, fucked up to that. We're all, we're all humans. Well, they, oh, come on, Mary. Oh, I, I know that... I, we're going to deal, you're going to start with semantics over the definitions. Well, they despise okay. an entire pigmentation All segment. Right. So separate us however the fuck you want to. Race, religion, political fucking um, leanings. What your favorite color is. I mean, how, how tall are you? How much do you weigh? How big are your fucking feet? Do you have ten fingers? There is a group for every fucking thing and everybody Do already. you have toenail fungus? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> and belly button lint. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think That's... if I I think if I did my partner might have brought it to my attention by now at some point. You know, you know, I'm thinking that's a special kind of someone that has toenail fungus and belly button lint. And a partner. <laughs> yeah. You know, that extra third thing is like, wait a minute, how'd that work out? Yeah. You know, because we're human. And you know what human people, being alive people, like to do the most? What What is, we all have this in common too. It's fucking insanity of the whole damn thing. You You don't know what it is? I'll tell you. You, you sitting down? Well, beside that. that 
<laughs> Al, I even like to do that with a partner. Let me tell you. But uh, <laughs> no, we like to to win, and and it's so hard to uh, explain to other folk how easily I see it in in the uh, the society thing. You know, just it's not necessary, but we depend on it. You know, winning is okay, but I'd much rather just play. I mean, yeah, it's fun to be on the winning side, but it's okay to not be the winner, winner, chicken dinner as well, because then you can go, dude, seriously, you won, so that means you're buying. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, but how do, how do these media outlets and such get away with knowing they're, they're spreading fabrications about the climate to mislead people to a destination? Right. But it's technically it's it's like advertising, Mary. This I think how to get away with it legally is there. I think a lot of them don't really understand what they're doing. Well, I wasn't done yet. I was I'm oh, saying okay. I'm okay. not saying whether they know or that's beyond the point. I'm just having fun interrupting. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll smoke to that. Well, I guess a crook's a crook's a crook, you know? Uh Uh-huh. If you don't live like that in the first place, then it shouldn't bother you as much as if you did. Because then you'd have to be worried all the time about being caught. And, you know, crooks always expect everyone else to be crooks, too. Because they're, they're stuck in that mindset. And so, therefore, they think that everyone else is just as crooked as they are. I would assume by you know, seeing other people's behavior in certain situations, yeah, that holds a lot of water, sure. Because, you know, you're looking out. So whatever you're doing, you're kind of showing people what you think of you. <laughs> uh-huh. It's weird. It's it's hard to uh, – well, I see it that way. We don't have a lot of peers in the visual world when you start describing how something re- – you, how you react to certain shit. So personal thing, I think. I don't think we all do it the same. That's oh, no. that's the cornerstone of our fucking problem, right? We've all been convinced that we do certain shit the same when we don't. Uh oh, Vinny's fan won't shut up. Vinny, do you have a fan and they won't shut up? Gray tape is great for that. Duct tape. Quite quite. Why do they call it duct tape? Duct. I know. Get oh. succinct with it. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't know where you left off in that, but I, I remember do. you reading Actually, Alice in Wonderland. I, I, I scrolled right past all of the... the uh, Important um, stuff. <laughs> well, the, well, all the federal regulatory and got right down to it. Oh, yeah. Where, where it says... With subtle treachery, the 14th Amendment states, all persons born naturalized in the United States, a real human being cannot be born or naturalized in a fiction. So only artificial entities slash persons can be born or naturalized in an abstraction such as the United States. And people proclaiming themselves persons are compelled to perform to whatever rules are attached to the term. They're compelled. You're mesmerized. And you don't even know it. There's not even someone going, look into my eyes so I can hypnotize. You're just brought up that way. And so everybody goes, but that's just the way it is. But that's, that's, that's what we've done that for years. Okay. You've done the wrong thing for years. Doesn't make it any less wrong or any more right. Maybe it does. <laughs> to mm. to the individual that is talking. See, you know, my right isn't your right. It's my right. That's where we're all fucked up. We all have to agree with every fucking detail of shit, and then it makes it makes it impossible. You, you can't do that. Yeah. And Did you know that a per- if a person says, I am a citizen of the United States, mm-hmm. 
They're saying, I'm not a real living sentient being with an imaginary, imaginary creation of the minds of other men who are fully entitled to tax, regulate, control, and destroy me through my identification with a fiction that is their creation and property. That's why I don't say I'm a citizen of the United States. I'm not. I'm not. I'm right. Grammy. Well, I am who I am. But hats off to the masters because they get us one way or another. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying that it's, it's, it's not so harsh on you if you know it. You know? But there's once, a lot of people. Once you know a thing, then you can either accept that thing and right. work with it, or you can acknowledge that thing but and what, walk away from it. What you just read would knock a status freaking Trump or Obama supporter into a state of freaking argument in a, two seconds. Oh, yeah. The cognitive dissonance. Yeah. And the, yeah. They would be like, my road. My, yeah. My, my leaders. Wow. Yeah. So, well, you know, that's wow. why aliens don't come here and say, take me to your leader anymore either. Because yeah, it's like, that's why you guys can't have nice things. You have those things. Well, you know what? That that whole concept about aliens coming here from a far, far away and all this kind of nonsense, it's crazy to me because, right? Mm -hmm. I, uh, when I argue with people about, okay, we're on a spinning globe, right? It's spinning, blah, 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 all shooting through space and whatnot. Well, how the fuck are you going to plan a, a trip light years away from a moving target? <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. There's no yeah. fucking way to, to get where you're going. You know, how would they know where the Earth is going to be by the time they could get where it is in the first place? It's insane. Yeah, because not only is it spinning at a thousand miles an hour and is it? I don't know. I don't. Know. At a certain speed, but the sun is also orbiting the galactic center, which the Earth is now not only spinning at a thousand miles an hour and orbiting the sun, but it's also trailing along with the sun at that colossal speed that the sun is orbiting the center of the galaxy <laughs> with. And I'm thinking, <laughs> if you're gonna tell a lie, tell a good one. Big, yeah. Make it complicated. And tell people if they don't believe it, it's because they're idiots and they don't understand science. Science, that's right. I'm thinking you if said you it start here first. off with a lie and then you start building upon that lie and then label it as science, other people will come along and with your little creation that you've got there of this wonderful little scientific method that you got going on, you can take that and you can build on it because guess what? These other people have already been brought up into believing that your scientific method is the basis of truth. But Grimmy Even found though duct it's tape. A big ass honk and lie. Mm -hmm. But Grimmy found duct tape. He did. It's on the main Grimmy. feed on the RLM. I interrupted you for that dork moment. Grimmy's awesome. He posted That's a the link way. and everything. Sweet. Duck brand. So there is now officially we have been corrected on the dork table. It is true. Duck. There is duck tape. Duck. Tape. Vinny will you know, be pleased. I've got some in multiple mm. colors yeah. as well because my granddaughter needed it to make gifts. But that's beside the point. Let's get back to your wonderful little because I'm I've already moved along because that Fourteenth Amendment thing that pretty much you know they say a lot of, but they pretty much just summed it up in that. Mm. Yeah. Now right. the Federal Reserve Act. But that would that would shatter somebody, wouldn't it? I mean, a real <laughs> can only imagine how much uh, connection it takes to be a part of the United States. It's a country. Ugh. Whoop whoop. I mean, I don't know. I've just not never been one to wave a flag or give a shit. But I like the good paperwork from the bitching place. <laughs> You know, I just this just popped into my head. Yeah. When when I tell people that you do realize that you are living in a fiction, you know, you you mm. live in a fantasy land mm. called the United States of America. They tell me that I need to go back to my fantasy land and it's like, wow. Oh, you're right. Wow. And my fantasy land is actually not nearly as regulated as, as yours. yours. Yeah. I prefer mine. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. 
But uh, don't feel like you're the only one. Oh, I don't. I think everybody lives in their own little fantasy land, and it's not necessarily a fantasy. It's just their version of reality. Well, you know, society frowns on the outside opinion, too. If you don't go with whatever the damn majority thing is to some point, some level, you're going to be like, uh-oh, there he, there he is again. I would be one of the, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not Norm. Cliff Clavin. Mm. You know, because Cliff was a freaking brilliant expert on every damn thing, but he, he didn't know what he was talking about ever. Yeah. But he was amusing and he was fun. But Oh, yeah. Wow. A dumber than a bag of doorknobs. <laughs> and yet he had all of this artificial intelligence just running around inside his head. Going, <laughs> hey, I can't wait to let this one out. <laughs> You renamed intelligence. <laughs> That's priceless. You heard that here okay. first, folks, on the dork table. When the government comes around informing you, tell them Mary said so a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. They're I did coming it. to take your guns. You know what? But they don't need to take your damn guns. That's such stupid nonsense. You think about it. How ignorant that truly. Like, everybody that owns a gun is some lunatic that, you know, they're going to take them. Oh, crap, what am I going to do? Let's panic and fat somebody. It's it's the rhetoric has been, over, you know, they've overplayed the hand for so long that if you've heard it once, then, you know, you know, it's not going to ever happen. You know what's funny, though, is every time they say they're doing more gun grabber legislation and all this other fun yeah. shit. Yeah, they'll do small things. Basically, what yeah. they're doing is they're writing a bunch of squiggles on a piece of paper, and everybody goes, ami, 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 ami. And then they don't have to grab anyone's guns because all of these wonderful, good little ami, ami, ami believers mm. come walking in with their guns like good little bots. That artificial intelligence kicked in, and they went, it squiggles on a piece of paper. My programming is working. Here, have my weapon. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Damn, Mary. <laughs> you sound, it reminded me of like of a computer, you know, that computer that can talk. How? <laughs> well, How? Who's wait? No, the computer. No, yeah, Hal from 2001: Space Odyssey. No, more like Marvin, the paranoid android. <laughs> oh, there you go. The computers yeah. on the on the on the heart of gold. They were all cheery and happy, and they depressed the shit out of Marvin. Yeah, poor Marvin. Because no matter what, Marvin was always unhappy. No yeah. matter, you couldn't do anything that would make Marvin happy. But you know what, Marvin did. Whatever he Black. was programmed to do, and he did it. Yeah. But engaging and talking to him was like suicide. Get me away from this thing. <laughs> anyway. See, and I would enjoy it for a while, just because for I a like few minutes. Yeah. With... yeah. But not yeah. long. The character was pretty bad. He was very. Neg he was like negative. You Are could, you talking you can... about Marvin from like the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy stuff? Yeah. No, not yeah. like. There is only that Marvin. Well, yeah. The paranoid android. Yeah, yeah, my wife is on her yeah. way home, so uh, when she comes in, I'll mute because the uh, dog will be all crazy and they'll be all out bringing stuff in the house and whatnot. Okay, okay and I'll, but you'll hear them. I'll, you'll know what I'm muting about. And uh, then at that point, you can either read or tell us a gauging tale of your. You know, epic I mean, nights I mean, out in the raw fields of Kansas. In the boonies. Way in, out in the right. boonies. Oh, dang. Moosey's <sighs> cold, way colder than I am. I'm I'm looking in the chitty chat. Yeah. She's only mm. supposed to, what's it? High of 42.7. I'm going to pull up mine. Mine wow. says I'm supposed to have a high of 65 degrees today. I don't even know what mine is. So, whoop de doop -dee. I, see, that's what I mean. Competition. We compete about weather. <laughs> it, it's, I know. It's built into us from some, as soon as the state gets you. That's the first thing they do. 
pit you is against. Is it competing and, or is it comparison? <laughs> no, it's I'm com- comparing. Mine. No, you okay? You know who is colder and of course, same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's cold, colder in hell in Moose in Mooseville. Mm. So therefore, okay, Mooseville. Where's that from? Where's Mooseville from? I don't know. Bullwinkle and Rocky. <laughs> So, no, yeah. there was a there was a TV show that There's Mooseville in it. You got me. Gosh uh, darn it. I, I must, well, Mooseville is where Moosey lives because that's Moosey's place. <laughs> and I think I smoked too many marijuana cigarettes to know where Mooseville Ooh, them, is. Them married you want. Oh, good God. Yeah. I saw something the other day. Some gal was saying, I smoke weed. Mm. And I smoke weed because it's better for you than marijuana. And that's why marijuana isn't legal. But weed is okay. And oh, I thought, oh, wow. What? The <laughs> mentally challenged. Well, you know, that's kind of how I see this Greta thing. This Greta thing got a hold of a, of a story, and she can repeat it, and she's mental. So let's promote her all over the world to, to pitch a shitty idea. Because yeah. if, uh, there, there's anything that we have learned in the last I don't know, 50 or 60 years is whatever the state tells you is good is bad. And whatever they tell you is bad is good. And there you go. What more is there to really know besides, oh, we're being held hostage against our will? Yeah, but, you know, I I have a funny feeling that they know that that crap is going on. And so every once in a while, they actually do say something that's truthful. Mm. Just so people will go, nah, it came Mm. from the state. It's bullshit. (laughs) Okay, well, you know what? If, If it didn't have its grubby mitts and everything... At all at one time, it wouldn't be so bad. But it's in everything. It's like a virus spread. Yeah. It mutates into super viruses that take out entire fucking countries. It's an invisible spider web. Mm -hmm. And when you walk into it. Is it Really? You know, for the most part, I think it really is. I think it's invisible. You know how many they just flat ass can't see it, but then when they walk into it, it's like, yeah, right. go into epileptic ninja mode. Do you know how many military bases there are scattered around the globe? United States military bases. Thousands. That's all I know. And they need to shut them all down. Well, you think there's thousands. I didn't think there was that many, but hey, maybe we should get one of the. Uh, hey, one of you um, techno tards out there that does all that research, find out how <laughs> how many there are. There's, I mean, there's got to be a specific number of of bases that they'll admit they got, and then behind that, oh, I there's think that's secret like bases hundred or some such that they say they have. But there's got to be more. It's a big planet. This planet is huge. Fuck. Getting around this place is... They do it in a plane, you know, so you think how quick it is. But try walking it. (laughs) That's going to slow you down a little. Just a little bit. But the view's better. (laughs) You get that up close and personal thing going on. It's really nice. Okay, U.S. has military bases in 80 countries. See, 80 out of 200 and, like, what, 12 there are? Why does the U.S. have 800 military bases around the world? That's a that's a YouTube video. Well, how else do you think they're going to sell all that heroin? Well, you know, we've you, got all these military bases, and then that way when someone acts up just a wee bit, you know, like trying to be an individual or sovereign, yeah. um, <clears throat> the U.S. can say, they're threatening our national security because we have a base right close to there. And so, therefore, that is our sovereign ground. Pay no attention to the fact that we just walked in and took it. Have we gone off topic again? <laughs> Who? What? Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> yeah. I know. My feet don't fit no limbs. don't matter to me, though. But I just wanted to say that out loud to see what you do. I'm having a practical joke in Saturday. Waiting for cert to get home. Okay. Well, you know, they may admit to having like 800 military bases around the world, but that's how many they admit to. I'll yeah, that's, yeah. There's that. m- really double. Mm. And then. <laughs> oh, yeah. For every one that you can see, there's got to be another one that they don't want you to see. Well, and you know how you, how you would disguise a military operation and put it right in front of everybody else? You just open an FBI office. <laughs> They're military without, you know, without, you wear a suit instead of a, 
uh, uniform. So, Actually, it, when you stop and think about it with the militarization going yeah. on in the United States, yeah. every town that has a police force is a military base. When did you learn that little tidbit of news-ish? Just, just popped into my head. Oh, you made that up? <laughs> yeah. Let's stop and think about it. True. I'm not denying I mean, it. I'm just saying, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah with all the militarization They've of the police up. forces. Yeah. yeah, every town that's got a, a police force of any kind is a military base. They've got tanks, and and I always wondered who who are they using this shit on? I you know, and the public is so ignorant that it's going to say us. <laughs> yeah, you know, just well, in case we decide to say no. <laughs> well, you know, send you know the tank we're the little doobie, we're such good little dooby dooby doos until we don't. Re-education go, hey. comes at the end of a. Have you ever yeah. noticed that they call it re-education as yeah. opposed to unlearning <laughs> bullshit? It's, it's all the same crap. It don't matter. If not it, necessarily. If, oh. Re-education is not the same thing as unlearning the bullshit. Yeah, it is. Because unlearning the bullshit is more of a poisonal thing, whereas yeah. re-education, someone else is going to tell you what you're going to be re-educated on. I want to. I want to argue about it. And I can't argue about it if I agree with you. So. <laughs> Damn. Ouch. Oh, no. Shepard Smith finally quit Fox News. Yeah. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Oh, my life is, <sighs> hey, I'm, I feel as though I've just lost my right arm. Nah, I'm better now. <laughs> I was kidding. Uh, Shepherd, see, I told you they'd send the shepherd after me to bring you back to the fold. And the guy's yeah, name all the whole time was Shepherd. If you're listening to, you know, we got we got people that post. I know it's they post <laughs> Fox. <laughs> I can't say this out loud. Well, you know what? There are, there are times when wow. even CNN or MSNBC mm -hmm. has. Some that is worth sharing, if for no other reason than to go, hmm. seriously, this is what they're putting out there now? So, no, it's a little late in the game to say that anymore. You know, that's that's like waking up tomorrow and realizing the Kennedy thing was faked. <laughs> no, we knew. You know, welcome to the crowd, but you're just like 50 years late. Where were you? <laughs> you know, every time hmm. I see something and I think, it's not possible for me to be shocked or appalled or amazed <laughs> oh, by any of this shit. Something else happens, and I go, I was wrong once again. Holy carp. Well, that's because you're a uh, 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 – let me think of some excuse for you. Oh, I got oh. it. It's because you're an uneducated female that was born in the Midwest. I know. I have that, that there artificial intelligence. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm going to work that. Work it. Work it. Work it. Grimmy just said there's 761 U.S. military bases across the planet. Wow. Note he said across the planet uh -huh. as opposed to around the world. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. I'm not going to go all global. It makes everybody crazy, but I'm just saying. Here I am, an alien. I'm out there in space somewhere. And out of all the freaking shit they show us that there is here around us in space, I'm going to pick this one spot. Not only am I going to pick the spot, but I'm going to hit New York City. <laughs> there, you know, know. The planet's 75% water, but I'm going to hit a spinning ball full of water, and I'm going to hit New York right, boom, or, or maybe a, a field in Kansas. Where they got corn. I'm thinking they don't have a wheel of fortune for their navigation system. <laughs> That's where we're going. You know, is it possible that maybe that these freaking uh, weirdos that consider themselves in control, uh, they have been experimenting with shit that they've never told us about, <laughs> ever. But they did tell us about all this other shit to keep us shut up so we would never ask questions about what they're really doing. Huh? 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 Yeah. Because Soylent Green is people don't eat it. Oh. <laughs> and vaccines have fetal... Adjuvants. Now, the, the key word in that whole thing is 
to me, inoculation. Because, man, I don't, you know what? I started out with people telling me, though, no, don't don't go with those heroin addicts and shoot the heroin into your veins. No, no, no. That is no good. Needles and, are bad wait, and unless wait, we have them. Yeah, let me finish my story now. And okay. then I went to the doctor and I went to the doctor and the doctor says, come here, I want to give you the shot in the ass with the needle. <laughs> wait a minute. My mom just told me I'm not supposed to go doing that stuff. You're trying to talk well, me into it. <laughs> That's because they were shooting it in your veins, whereas the doctor's shooting it in your ass. And everybody knows that the ass has a direct connection to the brain. Love this joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're cruel. Woo! <laughs> Finger time, people. <laughs> Damn, Mary. Cuts like a knife. Boy, you sure uh, took that 14th Amendment seriously, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. And, and when you do, you're going to find people that are resistant, and they're going to always uh, talk to you in certain tones or use certain words about that, that government stuff. Because, yeah. uh, wow, if you don't play in it, you're insane. And if you do it, play in it, then you're a slave. So, hmm, what to do, yeah. what to do, what to do. It's very confusing. Government, the shared mass hallucination. Well, if you know what the word means, too, on top of it all, it helps just a yeah. tad. I believe yeah, it's a control. Greek word. The Greeks started all this shit way back. Long Those time ago. Greeks. Yeah, but they had a they whole... kept their shit in their sheets, we would have been fine. But no. You know what, maybe I had to search at some educated fella that I could talk to you about these here uh, intellectual topics. Cause I want to know, <coughs> did, they have, did the Greeks have paper way back when? Or some kind of parchment, yeah, of course. Of course they did, well, because I was just trying to make and sure stone. that Plato didn't have to write out the Iliad on little pieces of... Well, right, but they also stone. had stone. I'll look at histories all over the world. You got rice paper out of China. Everybody's yeah. got their own. Come on, if you can do it in China, you did it in Poland. It's just two different ways to do the same fucking thing, according to the materials you got to do it with. So, in some areas you go without, in some areas you compete, you make a better thing than the next guy, or something similar. Did you know that way back in the day, Polynesian glass blowers were not allowed to leave? the island under threat of death because they did not want that technology getting out? No, I didn't know that, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past it because it sounds... <laughs> yeah, it sounds yeah. like the rumors I heard about um, uh, Bruce Lee in his day when he got killed, why he got killed, was not really talked about very much. Yeah. But I read that he was he was shot because... Uh, not shot, but he was killed because his son was shot. Because he yeah. brought the Kung Fu style to the West and, and, and his superiors didn't like it. Well, and it wasn't just the Kung Fu style of, of fighting. It was also the whole mentality uh, behind it. Yeah, he brought a... And the East people didn't want the West people to have that kind of stuff. They were tr- trying to deprive us of it. Because, you know, yeah. we're, we're those kids that grew up on TV ads, and, you know, Fritos and Coca-Cola, right? My baloney has a first name. Okay, all right. I get you, all right. But we, sur- <laughs> we survived shit that would probably put a kid today in the hospital, food-wise. Because what they're eating now is more synthetic than real. And what we were raised on was more real than synthetic. Yeah, and they're turning us into synthesized creatures as opposed to, once again, here comes that artificial intelligence shit again. We are not real Uman. Go for it. And Grimner says papyrus, I think, as an answer to your Greek question. Yay! But, you know, what? you got to think about how bullshitted we are in society in the first place, that. Because... You know, if uh, Michelangelo and uh, Leonardo da Vinci did all these freaking incredible pieces of art, and the day they did them, 
with the tools that they supposedly had available at the time, whatever that may be. They still got the result. So not being aware of technology that's in the future, a few hundred years, would never, it would never affect your, what you're making. You wouldn't even think of well, it. Well, yeah, a, and it's like with, and Raphael and um, who's that other one? There's a, a sculptor. Is it Bernini? I don't know. Bernini, You're the one thinking of it. There's, you know, painters and sculptors that have done things that they still can't figure out how they got the paint so thin, the layers of paint so thin, as in the total finished product, layers of paint so thin and to look so realistic. They still, they still don't tell us, is probably how I should say that, how they actually did that. They say that they don't know how they but, you know, I know, and I caught myself, you know, when I, when I first learned that, it was like, I just looked at those things and thought, dude, that's just freaking amazing. How awesome to be that, to be able to capture. And then when it starts getting spelled out to you, have you ever thought about? And I went, whoa, no, I hadn't. Mm-hmm. You know, some of the sculptures where, where they have sculpted fishnet, you know, with holes in and, how do you sculpt that out of solid marble? Or you, was it you, sculpted out of solid marble? You know, some of that stuff you sit there and you go, wait a minute here. Well, wait there's there's a mathematical a equation to it here. On top of everything well, else, wherever there's form, there there's numbers that go into getting that form out of a finished product. Numbers. And yet, there's also documents Hmm. and documented patents even from well pre-patent u.s because it's like 16th and 17th century documents that that explain how to make a polymer or a concrete mixture if you will although it's not concrete but how to do that and then pour into molds because a lot of those a lot of those sculptures do not have tooling marks on them not even from sanding. How do you do that? How do you do that? I don't claim to know, but there are. Okay. See, that's this is my anger with uh, with the world at large. Is I've grown through life, you know, from my little tiny beginning to where I'm at now, and all through the whole fucking thing, ninety ninety five percent of the people that were telling me were lying. Whatever they were telling me was bullshit. Maybe 5% of it was, but 90, maybe even 10. But most of it was just crap. See, and that's that's where I just start. A lot of those things you just see, you just take for granted, you just keep moving, and we're walking, we're walking, we're walking, and you don't stop and realize, how the hell did they do that? How did they make that? And then actually start getting into the trying to figure out how they did that. Well, I don't and always it really do that. Does. I rarely do that. Concern myself with how something was done. I'm more more concerned with that it works at the moment I need it. <laughs> okay, but you're an artistic individual. But do not mechanic. Never... No, I I'm not real interested. No, in but mechanics, do you but... ever look at at artwork mm-hmm. and just? in awe and amazed at how oh well how they did made. what yeah sure yeah depends on the piece what it's what it's made of or what it's painted in some things other people just rave about and I I don't like the picture <laughs> so I get ridiculed like the the Mona Lisa yeesh what a okay looks like my grandfather in a dress See, a little and, less and mustache hair going on there, but uh, okay. It looks like Steven Tyler without the <laughs> drugs. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> in any case, Steven Tyler, he's clean. He's worse now than he ever was when he was using. That. Eh, yeah, yeah, he's well, just uh, you know. being a yeah. Well, he's too old. He should just step down off his throne and let somebody else in. He's just holding up progress. 
Yeah, well, so should the guys in the Rolling Stones and the Who. and They won't. Know, and They're not giving up their chairs. They're holding court. I know. And that's, you know, that's fine. That's their business. But I ain't going to pay to go see them. But they also. That's not the prices they ask. But they also know something that you don't seem to know. That somebody will go see them. No. That, <laughs> you know that. That's something you don't yeah. know. Not something you know, you crazy girl. Oh. What do they know that I don't know? What do they know? Because once you tell me, then I'll know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would say what they know that you don't know is that the music's all been done. There's nothing left. You can't create a new riff oh. sound. You oh, can that's... only, in the long run, at this point, there's so much out. You can only rearrange what's already there. And that's, oh, that's that's pretty much a given, just from any of the okay, new stuff. Right. That I... But been the, unfortunate enough to listen see, to. See, that's what I, and I haven't listened to two seconds of anything new, and I can't tell you how long, because <laughs> I'm a, I'm a hermit crab. I go, I ain't touching that. Give that to Mikey. Mikey hates everything. Mikey yeah. will eat it, then I'll, I might look. But we got to get past Mikey first, the skeptic. Yes. See, and people think, oh, you're so skeptical. And no, I'm not, but I have a tester. <laughs> See, and that's that's why I have an issue with all this copyright bullshit. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Really? Copyright, please. You so you're saying you had zero inspiration whatsoever. It just you just thought it up all, all by yourself. You yeah. Have, Came to you in a blink. Anybody yeah. else that influenced you throughout <laughs> your life? Anyone uh, else? Yeah. You um, <laughs> this is your personal. <laughs> You're just going all crazy over this one. Go on. <laughs> well. Wow. I agree with I, you, though. Yeah. It'll, they call it, I, you know what they call it? This is the fucking what? ridiculous part. Intellectual property. <laughs> yeah. Once again. Idiots. Right. That's <laughs> you what the, I'm going to throw out there. And you're using a bogus. Artificial intelligence yeah. again. And they're using it. I the, created this masterpiece. With no help from anyone else, really? I'm going to go all Obama on you and say, you did not do that all by yourself. <laughs> See, that's wow. one of those instances where it actually is true. There is no one in this world that lives in this world in a vacuum. There is no one in this world that creates anything mm-hmm. all by themselves. Well, yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. They've oh. been influenced by someone oh, else. There is a guy. There's a magic guy. I heard. It. I there's heard a, about. Oh, him. there's a magic. I uh, okay. seen him on the interwebs, Miss Mary. I'm telling you, I he's real. Holy mackinac! Real ish. Okay. Real ish. Yeah, he's one of those limousine babies that knows how to write comic books. <laughs> oh. <laughs> His name is oh. Elon Musk. Oh yeah. Guys, Elon was never influenced by anybody like Tesla. No, uh-uh. it's all his. He's, he's such a genius. Had the had the nerve to use the name when it it should be remembered in history, like Washington or you know, whatever. Do you ever stop to think that maybe he used that name in order to besmirch the name? Yeah, and distract you from who Tesla was exactly. They even yeah, so now, made a damn the, rock band and called them fucking Tesla. I hated it. I was like, hey, name that band, you scallywags. And so and so now when people hear the word Tesla, they don't think of Tesla, the guy that, no. that reminded the no, world. they that, think of a car. We got this free energy here. Uh, now they think of a car that catches on fire. fire. And they blow up because of the nitrogen or some kind of a... Oh man, there's just a miscalculation in their, you know, engineering. But see, all of this came up just as people were really starting to get into Tesla and researching Tesla it, his, and some of the yeah. ideas that he was bringing forth. And then somewhere out there, mm. someone mm. decided this is not a good thing. How do you know? People are starting to actually research Tesla. Yeah, we sure. need to come up with something mm. to make Tesla bad. Tesla bad juju. Tesla. Tesla fire, Tesla go boom. Hmm. So they came. They gave this guy named Elon Musk, who is ever so proud of himself, and I'm happy for him that he's proud of himself. Good hmm. job. Hmm. I'm happy for you. 
But now he has a Tesla. <laughs> hey. hey, Grimmy took a dump, but he created it all by himself. Hey. Ah, you know what, Grimmy? Hey. You did not because that food came from somewhere. Wow. And and as the farmer's son is so famous for saying, uh. Uh, it all makes a turd. Oh. So. <laughs> See, there's just times I'm glad I was born in the city. Because we, <laughs> we just call it shit. <laughs> <laughs> Same amount of letters is just, I don't know, turd is so aggressive. <laughs> Turd is. It is. The, the three turd twat and tit. You think, you know. Turd, crap, and shit. I did. See, I there you go. See, you now you it. just did that for me. <laughs> I just had the Acme light bulb moment. Acme is four uh -oh. letters as well. They're all four letter words. Four letter words. Yep. <laughs> so, so what? <laughs> what are you going to fire him? I'm going to sue you for using words. And, well, anyway. No. I, I know, so we have, have a good time trying to write notes for this show. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it with the way I did it, and just we're going to talk about whatever crazy shit. But that link will take you two hours to read anyway. So have fun. <laughs> but uh, what we talked about, what don't we talk about? We just bullshitting around, having a good time. It's not we are a sharing serious. existential truths. Yeah, and I tried to tell you how I I'm you know not convinced that. Uh, it's as easily done as this little Greta girl makes it look. There's big money behind her to get her in front of the United Nations. You know, and why would you be there? Because you're repeating their crap. And they're going broke and all this other shit. So they're desperate. They need some yeah, tax money. Yeah, I was just gonna to... say. So they dumped all their money into Greta, and now they're they're oh. gonna go belly up in two weeks. Are they really? Maybe. Could be. I saw something the other day. They're gonna run out of money in two weeks, and I thought. Oh, yeah, I think I saw. It. Yeah. Darn. Must be where if I got the idea. This was the Federal Reserve. They just print more. That's right. That's what the Federal Reserve is for, so you can print your money when you need it. And speaking of the Buy Federal American. Reserve, huh? Speaking of the Federal Reserve, the Federal Reserve Act. Citizens of the United States, as persons <coughs> owned by their creators, need slave money to use on the government slave plantation. And it was inappropriate for statutory 14th Amendment citizens slash slaves or persons, residents, fictions, corporate government, franchisees, whatever, to be dealing in gold, the real non-statutory money of sovereigns. Through the Federal Reserve Act, citizens slash slaves obtained an unredeemable paper, paper script monopoly money appropriate for their plastic status. Hey, damn it. Hmm. Now, now, now I just realized San Fran Nan, I always said was Barbie doll on, on, um, uh, what's that shit that she does? Botox. Now it's, I'm plastic too. That sucks. Oh. I am not plastic. Who? I am not plastic. You? I am flesh and blood and bones. And you muscles. are. Or her? I am. No, she is not. She is a Botox biatch. Why? But 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 you're talking about Nancy. I Oof. know. I know. The Botox has gone to the brain. Man, have okay. you ever listened well, to that woman you, talk lately? I, <laughs> no, you... I would never listen. When, when I realized that the woman's family, the family that's behind her, oh my God, no wonder she's in politics. She's not doing anything for you. I'll tell you that. Oh no. But she made two hundred million dollars. You know, up a Why up a two hundred. Yeah, up a two hundred thousand dollar a year job. <laughs> so. Yeah, because. She's just who's very frugal with her money. Yeah, who's the crook, you know? Well, you know, she doesn't spend her own money because that's what she's got the government job for. Is that what it's for? Put it on the tax tab. The tax oh, tab. the country will pick up the tab. Okay, I got a question for you. Whoa, ho, ho, yes. ho, ho. We okay. know better than that. There is no money. Money is not being exchanged at any level anymore. They're just passing around IOUs. 
So oh, they're just doing digits on a screen. Yeah, right. So no, how do you account for trillions of dollars? Come on, there. This is the uh, the most unbelievable, believable story I've ever heard in my life. If you're gonna tell a lie, make it. Big. I realize that. Make it convoluted. And it is so fucking phenomenal. And we always end up sounding weird when we go, "Hey, it's not real." But you know what? I agree with you on that one. I I have a funny feeling that the money is bogus. <laughs> well, you know, made out of thin air, out of absolutely freaking nothing. <laughs> Yeah, they say money go. doesn't grow on trees, but you got to cut a bunch of trees down to make all that monopoly money. Uh, right, but the little bit of currency that they're using. Good God, they made such a big deal out of this. They're they're twenty odd trillion in debt. Okay, now even three hundred million people. Blah 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 blah. How much cash do you need on hand to keep this little tribe of idiots, you know, quiet, so that they don't explode? You know what explode. I just realized. Mm. What? We're over twenty some trillion dollars in debt, mm-hmm. and yet the world itself is fifty five trillion in debt. We own <laughs> like two thirds of the freaking debt. What the hell? We are living large. <laughs> right. Let me tell you. Right. Right. But the average guy doesn't understand inside his mind that it's. All promises. There is nothing that's... The government can come in tomorrow and just take it all away. It's all gone. Then you can fight it, but you'll never see it again. You know what they call it? Acid forfeiture. And you know who's all for acid forfeiture, right, listener? You know who's behind Mm. that? Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump wants you to... Wants him to arrest your shit. Take it away from you. Until it's them, and then they don't want it anymore. Then they squeal like a pig. Well, in any case, back to this Federal Reserve Act. Oh, you went back to the Federal Reserve Act. Okay. Yeah, the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 was one of the greatest acts of treason of all time. Yeah. Treason against humanity, actually, because they actually put in writing, which is basically the, the solidifying of the spell they were casting. That echoed throughout the world. That's what they did with that shit. Now, through this act, Congress gave away the country to the cabal of rich charlatan international bankers herein banksters. And yes, and then it gets into all congressional yada yada, blah, blah, blah. This section and that schmaltzy pulty and yeah. <coughs> They say it's unconstitutional, which, yes, it is unconstitutional. Mm. And yet, since when have they paid attention to that Constitution? I think that Constitution was put down on a piece of paper just to give the little people something to go, see, we got a Constitution right here. I got me a Constitution. You can't do, oh, shit, you just burned my Constitution. Now what am I going to do? You just burned my rights. But, Mary, the, the way I see this Constitution catastrophe that we're facing in the modern day world simple to me I see it like this when I was a young fella grown up in school they vaguely mentioned the constitution something about a bunch of guys in England and a war yeah 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 okay so then I became a grown up and uh, Mm -hmm. encountered the long arm of the law in a traffic incident extravaganza and uh, according to the cop, I didn't have any rights. I didn't know what I was talking about. And that was in 1976. Yeah. And Constitution is basically a piece of paper. But where it has real power well, that people just freaking don't understand. Right. But what I'm getting is at the is. thought behind it. Right. But it started right about there. Okay. And then as mm-hmm. time goes on, they they either not teach the kids shit or they push shit on the kids. See? I grew up with the cops were you know supposed to talk to you like you're a human being. And then by the time I was old enough to engage one, their their protocols had changed and we're the enemy. Oh yeah. 
because of the war on drugs and all this other adult horrible shit that I had nothing to fucking do with. I was a little kid. But, you know, if you're going to get in the fucking way, they're going to knock you down. So you got to be either smart or flexible. (laughs) You're going to collide. Have you you seen the new targets that, well, they're not new. They've been around for probably at least 10 years. You're talking about a store, right? That I'm in Denmark and I'm going to see a. No, I'm not talking about a store. I'm talking about the new targets that they use on firing ranges. For training purpose, purposes. I don't use for guns. Okay. No, law I, I don't. enforcement officers. <laughs> oh, no. At. Really? Wow. And these targets are pregnant women, little kids, yeah. woman pushing a stroller, a little old guy with a walker. Those are the targets that they're using when they train these law enforcement officers. You know, they're not teaching them. They're not giving them skills to survive with. What they're doing is they are training good little bots, good little artificial intelligent, um, artificially intelligent, uh, um, God, what is that word for uh, these fleshy, these meat suits, basically, is what it is. Mm. I don't know. That's what they're. That's what they're. Tra- they're doing. They're. They're just programming. They're programming these. Artificially intelligent meat suits to go. Oh, out okay. Yeah, I understand. Shoot. You're just talking in girl talk. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Sure. Without reason, just because they feel like doing it. Yeah, they don't. They don't teach no emotion. people or show people how to think. School, and I think it's when they when they did the whole um, education department. It's not looking and good. Made it to where everybody had to go to school. That when the edge of McCraption kicked in because then they instead of teaching people how to think how to work out problems they started teaching them what to think and training them and programming them and it worked you should be pleased mm-hmm. look around you have success oh yeah well if it make an America great again baby you ought to be dancing around the room yeah, his burning bras and all kinds of stuff. Are great as in G R A T E. Yeah, relive the '60s and go burn a bra or two. You know, have fun. Nah. No. Hey, it was just hey. a suggestion. You never know. Free those few bra- babies. What few bras hmm. I own? Uh oh. Plan on burning. <laughs> never mind. I was. <laughs> Thanks for participating in my little diatribe. It's Mary. Well, yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just instead of burning a bra and adding all of that CO two to the atmosphere, you darn greenhouse gasser, you. Oh yeah, I that. Just leave yeah, them in the so drawer, weird. and then I wear them whenever I go somewhere, and I actually have to like dress appropriately. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, they just sit in the drawer. Well. <laughs> You know, I, duh, the, duh is here. Yeah, but when this when this uh, climate control crap collapses and people are fighting over it physically, ouch! It's not going to be pretty. There's going to be happen. riots. That's what's going to happen. The police well, will be there's involved. There's going to be an awful arresting. lot of people that are going to have an ugly way of departing their meat suit, and yet. They're not going to be dead. It's just the meat suit is no longer functioning. Okay. So, well, all right. There, now I got all like existential. Oh, ideas. yeah. No, I, th- I thought you were going to go all like, you know, um, what's his name? David Banner. You well, know, he I suffered think, from I radiation think, poisoning and became the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> I do think things will get ugly. Really? In bigger cities. When you know, like L.A. and I don't know when. I don't know when. I don't. I'm not Nostradamus. Well, I'm maybe you're Mary Stradamus. I'm not your dumbass. Uh, you said you're Mary <laughs> Stradamus. Okay. Anyhow, so what? Well, maybe you can tell the future. How do you know you can't if you don't try? <laughs> well, you Give know, I tried to tell you, but it doesn't. Work. Hey, wait a minute. You might. <laughs> this could take you places. Give it a shot. <laughs> Can you imagine if you did it live on the radio? You predict something that happens, guess where you're going? 
to the toppermost, poppermost, baby. That's right. Straight to hell. Oh, or there. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to tell the future right now. Okay. I'm going to tell the future. Future, get your shit together because obviously we don't have ours together. And so somebody's got to do it. And I've designated future to do it. There, I just told the future. What do you think of that? Mm, not much. Okay. Because well, you know, Alex, I never said it's I was. It's in the past, that. Mary. It's over. You did it. So we're done. <laughs> oh. How could okay. it be the future if we're talking about it? It's over. It's past. Oh shit. See that? Oh man. How this thing gets ruined when you ruin. So I decided in my personal reality when I don't have to. Dick around with all you mere mortals. <laughs> I disavow the clock and uh, most of the laws of physics, science that we all seem to share and understand as a you know, as a group. <laughs> and when I'm yeah. alone in my mind, none of that shit's there. It's all you guys jibber jabbering in my head about crap I don't want to know. <laughs> The world is flat. The world is round. The world is flat. The world is round. <laughs> who cares? Maybe it's both. But who cares? Partick, I laugh off of you. <laughs> who cares? What difference does it make? What you don't, what, what you don't see. The only see, thing people what? need to do is say, wait a minute. Somebody fed me a line of shit. It's a way to no, judge. But- it's a way to put a judgment on another person's intelligence. Based on their reaction to, is the world round or flat? And if you say neither, you get everybody all fucked up. They don't really know what to do with that one. <laughs> True. But the the evidence that we've had shoved in our face day in and day out for all these years, it would indicate there's a 27% chance that we're on a round Earth. Then they throw in all this other shit that, Wow, you can't reproduce that in experiment, so I don't know how to, how to prove it. So, hmm, maybe it's just too big. It's beyond my scope of understanding it. So I just go, yeah, maybe it is round. Who knows? But I'm not going to claim I'm some kind of freaking scientist and I understand all the crap that's necessary to make a thing spin with water on it and people living on it and animals on it and plants and and that's just the beginning. There's more. <laughs> Look at it. And then we fly around it. Come on. Somebody's tell. Why don't the planes just go straight up and wait until they're, wherever they're trying to land comes spin yeah, around see, under asked, them and then land? I asked that too. And <laughs> Probably where I stole so it. Smart brother, he told me that you just don't understand science. And I said, you're right. I don't. Because if this is spinning, and he said, no, the whole atmosphere is spinning with it. And I went, oh, oh, so. Not only is the rock spinning and holding all of this water onto itself while it's spinning, but now it's holding air onto it, too. Have you ever tried to grab air? It's not as easy as grabbing ass. I'll take your word for it tonight, Mary. <laughs> and then and then <laughs> drag that air with you. Yeah. No, I know you what you mean. Deep? No, no. The concept is vague, but I get the idea, I think. No, and see, my brother told me that we don't notice all of this because we were born here. So we were born acclimated to it. And I went, okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's another reason I don't believe aliens are on, on Earth is we exist on poisons to other life forms. Oxygen can kill things. Let me tell you. And, a, and alien things. Why would an alien come here and be able to breathe air? Weird. What are the chances of that? And you know what I want to know? I want to know why they come <laughs> here and terraform Earth for them. <laughs> because it's already terraformed. Because terra means Earth, doesn't it? I don't know if you say so. You're the wordsmith. Uh, I'm just here to trim the, sh- the bush. <laughs> I'm just I'm just here to ask questions and go. I don't get it. He, I say get, get the trimmers and trim the bush. Ah, what you don't just, what don't you get? Ah. But you don't you don't like my Jesus impression? That was my impression of Jesus the gardener. You're welcome. You did very good. 
You know what? Grimmy yeah. said there's lots of things that are ra- uh, lots of round things are flat. And Chaskura said the world is round, but the universe is flat. <laughs> so you can have See, both ways. Well, no, just, you can have your Earth and flat your universe, too. So there. Okay, and I'm just saying, just assuming from from the crap that I've been exposed to in life that I've proven was crap, to the other uh-huh. crap that I just assume is crap without really having to prove anything. But some people insist there is proof, but sometimes you don't need to rely like the moon landing. <laughs> you don't need to rely on proof to prove that's not possible. Yeah. But, you know, what gets overlooked, even and maybe even forgiven, is the uh, necessity to to prove to do a performance of a of a historical thing to make people like you. <laughs> Never mind. I I can't make people like. How me. do you hate somebody that's been to the moon? They went to the moon. They drank tang and everything. Come on. <laughs> Have you ever read the ingredients? In <laughs> I I don't understand the ingredients. I don't speak whatever la- language that freaking shit is. I just if I can't know, pronounce the ingredients. I don't want nothing I don't to do drink with it. it. Oh well. No, I I cheat with beer then because I like to have a couple of beers here and there. Otherwise, yeah, even, I'm on the elixir. And, elixir. Ah. Yeah. See, I had to go and get canned cat food the other day because my bless her heart, doozer, she's. Uh oh. Twenty one now. Ow, yeah. Yo's, Twenty one. Yeah. Um, she doesn't do real good with dry food, Ouch. so I get canned food. Yeah. And uh, well, and I don't know that it's necessarily because she likes there's certain <laughs> treats from my auntie Wanda. They're like, they're called greenies. Yeah. And they're they're healthy kitty yeah. treats. Yeah. But she likes those, and she can keep those down. But regular dry cat food, she has it doesn't make a difference what brand it is. She can't keep it down. Hmm. But she can with canned cat food so go figure so i went and i bought some canned cat food and i started reading the ingredients and i actually went with the cheaper canned cat food Mm -hmm. because it started at least started out with ingredients that i could read and understand what exactly oh yeah sure you don't want to put crap in your cat either well i mean there was there were other ones that yeah they were big old honking words but um, I actually know what they meant. So, well, it's very simple here in Denmark to uh, not have to worry about the ingredients in your product. They've got vet- veterinarians that sell certain kinds of products that you can't get at the store for your pet. So, if you yeah. want the top of the line, the good stuff, then you go. You know, and if you're not concerned about quality at all, you go to the grocery. But your animals live longer the, with the better food, so it's you know it's up to the person, I suppose. Yeah. But they got but, us. You know, they got I us really held hostage with it. I yeah. don't really trust veterinarians anymore. Either. Okay, I uh, I do here. I, I I would say I would agree with you where I'm from, but no. If you burn some, this is a neighborhood. You burn people here, you don't stay in business for years and years and years. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, the, and and the doctors are, I mean, even though I don't, without the language, they're always nice to me when I got to take Anna down there, because they don't, they know I don't like to do it. But they say it's not that uncommon. We get a lot of guys who don't like to bring the dog to the vet. It's normal. Oh, okay. It just makes you feel kind of like weird when it happens. But I don't want to take myself to a doctor, so I kind of get weird about the dog. Well, yeah, what? see, and I, I rem, um, spent a few years back. There's a vet back east somewhere that um, was actually giving the the fur baby parents mm. the science behind, like the rabies shots and the distemper shots and all this other fun stuff. Mm. And apparently once the animal has the antibody in their system, you do not need to give them a booster shot. So when you bring them in, the, 
excuse me, the next time for their booster shot, if you do a simple blood test and they still have those antibodies in their system, then their body is still, you know, fighting and they have a, a good immune system, so you don't have to give them the booster shot. He actually got fired and they tried to take his license away from him because he he wasn't forcing people to do booster shots. Yep. On their dogs because it made no sense to give the dogs and cats. And besides the fact that it was a one dose fits all, so what what you gave to a Chihuahua is also what you gave to um, a, a Labrador. Yeah. Well, we've got Doctor Cooper here. He was here when we got here for however many years. So we've been here for five. Well, coming at four and a half. So plus that. So I don't know how old he is. He might be ten. He might be younger. He might be a little older than I have no idea. But the uh, vet has a chip on in, in his ear from the previous people that he lived with. Same address wow. and the whole nine yards works out really good. And they got his name and it got a tattoo in his ear too. Ooh, a tattoo and everything. And, He's like a rebel kitty, huh? Well, not anymore because once once Sir had his nuts whacked off or. He, well, she to save him, she had to hurt him, you know. Anyway, so the the vet down the road that I was just bragging about is the one that took care of the cat because he looked like he was going to croak, you know. And I'm thinking, okay, here I got to go dig a hole and, you know, do something about the body and bury a cat. Maybe. And then Cirque took him to the vet the next day and saved him. And now he plays, plays around on his back playing with socks and string and shit like that. So I would assume the results of this cat behaving so well are because of the doctor that took care of him because he looked like he was going to croak. So there you go. You know? Ah. But I don't think that um, I could get myself into a situation where I was so sick, physically sick, that I required a doctor. And if that comes up, I don't know. Doctors don't don't really interest me, so they don't have much to say. Yeah. Well, when you start getting up into the uh, you know the sixties, there, Miss Mary, you gotta start thinking about these sort of things. Uh, just not yeah. all the time. Not like some kind of morbid fucking worry. Just being aware of your mortality at certain times. That might be the reason that, you know, I walk on the sidewalk and not down the middle of the street with my eyes closed. Yeah. You know, common sense dictates that chances are somebody could have a wreck and run you over on the sidewalk, but they'll surely wreck and run you over in the middle of the street. <laughs> Almost guaranteed. <coughs> that was a bad yeah. joke, yeah. Well, not all of well, them are good. See, and I just... I haven't been to the doctor in hmm. at least four years. Whoa, I'm holding out. I got, uh, this is November of 19, so I got eight, eight years this month. Sometime this month. I don't know. I don't remember the day. Maybe it was November. Could have been November. It was right. See, me and Cert got connected. Right, My life changed like all in a week. It was so weird. Well, not yeah. weird to me, but to other people that were like, Wow. <laughs> yeah, it all, just like every day for a week, something. And Cirque was in there, and uh, I'm going to Spain. What? <laughs> anyway. I got lost. I was daydreaming off in uh, mar okay. marijuana. That's okay. okay. And not only that, but I sure found a whopper on this link I posted into the uh, program today. Because, like the guy says, the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 is one of the greatest acts of treason of all time. You read that. Uh huh. But I reread yes, it. But it's so freaking true. Okay? It is true. And here we are. All right. And, the, and this is what, why, there's, there's very few people understand the level of I don't take this seriously in life that I've taken it to. <laughs> but I, I don't. Yeah. I take it so little of it seriously that it irritates people, I think. You know, I'm running out of conversations to have. 
Oh, see, and that's, <clears throat> that's why I kind of try and, especially speaking face to face, I I try to just kind of get the feel of where someone's at, and then I just let them start the conversation because anymore, it's just not worth it. Oh, so I picked on the you Federal know? Reserve. I made I picked on a mutual enemy for both of us to slap the shit out of. Well, and, you know, a lot of the people that I talk to know this about the Federal Reserve, but they don't know what to do. Right. That, exactly. There's there's no alternative except the black market. And then that, what happens? That brings on the state. And the state's back in what? The illegal money system. So, wait a minute. We're, we're trapped from the gate with no opt out. I would I would respect this shit if they could say you know, even if the result was, yeah, you had to get a tattoo on your fucking hand to opt out. Here, stamp your fucking hand with this ink thing here, and you will we'll recognize that you're not in it. I'd be okay with something like that instead of this being held captive against my fucking will with no other way but to participate in it or end up in trouble for something because of these freaking laws these idiots got all right. You know, I don't even believe in half of the shit that. that you know, they want me to support it. I fucking, they can't explain it to me in a way it makes sense. What what purpose does it serve for you to have ten million or something and everybody else to have a twenty? <laughs> I mean, what what what's the point? What are you trying to be? You know, I don't I don't get it. So because I see the money as fraudulent, I see all the accumulation as theft. Mm-hmm. If his real work doesn't pay that good in the first place, things that really accomplish something, huh. it's not working for a corporation that feeds 10 million people strawberries. That That's slave labor. You're being held captive against your will. Yeah. <clears throat> because yeah. of not having any other option but that. <laughs> and the society does this shit, too. And they claim, oh, this side of the border, they're free. But on this side of the border, they belong to some other place. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, then it brings yeah. you to these links like I found about this betrayal stuff. And it shows you that if you're a person, well, then you're a, you're a status. You're, you're a part of the machine. But what are you if you don't? Feel you're part of that. What are you? What what is the option to that? Oh, I'm outside of the society. No, can't do that because we, you know, you can go out in a bad mood out in, in, into the real world and then you run into somebody that you know and, and you got to drop your whatever you're pissed off about and treat them accordingly. You know, you don't, you know, you know how I mean. You don't go to work with a shitty face on, right? Right. Okay. Well, these things are, we're, they're universal. We all know them. It's not, it's not like they're secrets, you know. Getting along is the easy part. Yeah. You know, you got to. have to be trained you to gotta, not get along. You got to learn the difference between somebody from Iraq and somebody from Iran to know which one to hate. <laughs> because. Oh, but the. They all have the same pigmentation, so therefore they must be. Are you bad. serious? That can't be that simple. It's got to be more to it. And the obsession oh, to it's, uh, it's the whole concept of other. Hmm. Those people they think other than you. Those people they dress other than you. Those people they were born with skin color other than yours. Don't have a central you bank. Should. They don't use usury. They use different their yeah. their credit. Their credit and their banking system is its similar in a sense, but it's not done with numbers. It's done with product. You can uh, barter as well as trade with cash, coin, whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the difference. That in in this, uh, the one we, uh, we live in, they charge this outrageous interest rates for using the money. It's... Sim- simple as that is what it really boils down to. You know, it's the same thing with a credit card. If you use a credit card, you're doing the same thing. You're paying a fee to use the card. 
call it interest mm-hmm. rates. Well, mm-hmm. people are so convinced that this is okay that they don't say, what? Are you nuts? It took me years to understand that. I was took, I was in my 20s at least before it really dawned on me when somebody else was talking about it. and said, you know, interest rates for what? Because I was raised with that profiteering crap, you know, profit, profit, profit. That's how you make your profit. You make profit. And the more profit you make, the more profit you make. And you're a profit. Everybody wants mm-hmm. to give you profit. A profit who's profitable. Well, that's the loop, you know. Come on. I wanted nice things. I thought you needed money to get them. And it took me a few years to figure out, no, that didn't really make sense. <laughs> thought it did for a while, but it didn't. Money is just a tool to buy shit. It doesn't change the quality of your life at all. <laughs> life is life, period. And the toys that you play with, that's just to impress other people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. come on. Yeah. Because if, if, well, if I'm out in my, I've been working in the yard in my dirty clothes and I go out and have a beer out on the patio. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't look very nice telling you that oh sitting there in my dirty old clothes working all day in a yard and having my beer in the middle of the afternoon (laughs) so you know people live off appearances and how things seem to be what they know there's very little uh investigation or adventure left in life okay yeah, well, very... F- Where do you want to go that you haven't been? Where would you travel to right now if you suddenly had a uh, opportunity to go there? An opportunity to go there without having to go through the tip, Grope and Tickle Brigade? Well, I don't know. If you got the money to pay your way around that, it's only like $90 or $80 or $90. Oh fuck that shit! I'm not paying the extra extortion. Well, then fee. they're gonna yeah, then they're gonna grow up and radiate you on the way through. See, and right now <laughs> there is nowhere that I want to go so uh-huh. bad that I want to deal with that shit. Me either. Isn't that amazing? But see, I I used to it was part. That's what I mean. You can beat us in this mission if our greedy side wants what it wants. It's going to tolerate anything to get it. I'm living proof of that. I put up with that shit, too, and I hate fuck. I ain't doing it anymore. You can dig a hole out here and throw me in at first. I ain't traveling. I ain't done. Sick of these teenagers and weirdos with their damn TSA. Fuck, man. People I wouldn't drink with are working for TSA. <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, Mary, and I'm a very nice person. I have, I'm sociable. But TSA, I draw the line, and there's just this... This creepiness that the the police and the, the authorita figures and the herders, the shepherds, they got it. You can see it in their behavior. Yeah. And it, um I just I saw something yesterday from a niece that was traveling to come up and see my brother and his wife and had to go through the whole T S A tango shit. And she has a little one that is autistic and bless his heart. Oh, wow. Yeah, they do all that sick shit to the kids. Well, she's very, she has the little tag that's not only on his suitcase, but he has to wear this little tag. And so the TSA knows and they have a special procedure for all his shit. And Uh, she pretty much got harassed because uh, her son, uh, well, I don't know her son that well. I've only seen him a couple of times, but to me, I know her. Okay, you lost me already. I don't know. Well, I know her. I I have heard tell of her mother-in-law. Uh-oh. I have heard tell of her spouse. Oh, here comes the point. And I'm like, mm-hmm. and I also know just from her posts that she is very, 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 defensive about her son and vaccines did not cause his autism and stop putting him down and he's a special child and I love him anyway and and wow when I got that thrown at me I said I never said anything about him not being lovable wow. never said anything about 
him not being a special child. Everyone's special. What I did say is possibly if you would stop and consider that that crap that you were told was good for him actually caused what he's dealing with right now. Oh, but now he sees the world from a different perspective. And yes, I know. In some ways, that's a blessing. In some ways, it is not. Because you're going to have to take care of this child the rest of his life now. But, you know, people... She had to deal with TSA crap and an overly officious mm. asshole mm. that said, Got it. the line's over there. Quit trying to cut the line. Quit trying to do this. And basically, some of them get it into their head mm. that they can be abusive dicks because they wear a particular uniform. And I think that's a lesson to learn for any type of individual that wears a specific uniform, whether it be a cop uniform or a doctor's uniform or a fireman's uniform or a waitress's uniform or whatever fucking uniform you want to talk about. There are going to be abusive dicks out there that are going to be just absolute dicks. It's just all there is to it. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. There are people out there that just seem to think that I have this uniform and therefore I have power over you. Well, yeah. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't freedom everything that you read it was? Yes, the programming is wonderful. <sighs> Just so amazed. Well, and and we are trained to respond to those uniform cues. Well, and we managed to do our our freedom. Um, <laughs> what was it called? Our notice of betrayal. We got through like five paragraphs. That was pretty good for two dorks on a Saturday, but there's a whole lot of interesting comments and things to know in this link, if you care yes. to read it. Me and Mary apparently didn't want to read it for you, <laughs> but we had well, a lot we of did. fun we with did, but we, we yeah. did, yeah. didn't do, I don't know, you're, oh, you know, that's why I didn't call this place Mission Control, I called it the dark table. Because yeah. anything's bound to happen here. Anyway, you want well, to say that we got five, four, I don't know what clock. I'm well, I'm just, I'm going to read the headers on this thing. Yeah, you have fun. Because we've already, A was the 14th Amendment. B was the Federal Reserve Act. C is Trading with the Enemy Act, U.S. Bankruptcy and the New Deal. Just to kind of give you guys a little synopsis of what all's covered in this, for mm. those of you that, um, mm. since I strayed so much. Oh, hell, we had fun. <laughs> well, let's see. Life is scrolling, life scrolling, is kind of played and created, man. That you need yeah. Oh, man, there's a whole bunch of whereas's and therefores in here, too. Ooh, you know that? No. Have you read the whole thing? No. There's a shitload I, of whereases and therefores and whoever's and party of the first parts and party of the second parts. Nah, I was expecting to be solo today, so I picked a wordy uh, big thing to do. And then you popped in and said, hey, I'm inside the house bound. Where's the dork table? Well, and it is extremely wordy, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm still trying to... Mm -hmm. Oh, he must have switched from well, A, B, and C. To there's stuff in there, there for everybody, one, though. Yeah, but uh, there's Roman a little... You can always add comments to the notes with Grimm, I think, right? Uh, Cause I, nope, you got your notes. That's, right. that's cool. All right. Well, you seem to be falling in love with certain ideas. And you know how I am. Well, Today it's popular, and next week you'll forget what it was, it was even for. Yeah. Ah, and well, I, I will read his reflections at the end of it. His reflections on this is fiction versus reality, presented by Winston Shrout. Thank you, Winston Shrout. Well, whose reality do you prefer, yours or uh, somebody else's? I prefer mine. There you go. Mine uh -huh. is uh -huh. my own creation. Then how can mine be the same as yours? Because I got the same thing. I think, hey, if I'm going to be in a damn re uh, reality, it's going to be my very own Ain't gonna be yours because yours is all fucked up. You think all crazy. <laughs> but it's not it's you, a shared you, you, you. Yeah, yeah. All of you, I don't know reality. out there. 
We yeah. all have a shared reality yeah. where there are certain mm-hmm. constants. You know, like we're all on this. <laughs> we're all on this earth right now. Grabbing at, at grabbing at nipples, looking for the nipples. Yeah, pretty getting, much getting in all kinds of mischief, looking for the nipples. <laughs> Uh, you know, we have certain certain basic uh, basic realities that we all share. The rest of it is like off on a tangent, everybody. Yeah. So pretty much. But and that's okay. You know, as long as you're off on a tangent does not cause intentional direct harm to another individual, you're off on a tangent is just peach kino. Okay. It's and when you're off on a tangent causes intentional direct harm to another individual that you're being a total dickly head and we're gonna to have to have a chat. But you you can't explain that to somebody in certain situations. We're gonna to have to do another show to really go into details. But I'm telling you, if I'm a violent prick and I want to hurt something, uh, how are you gonna stop me? With your what? Pleading? <laughs> No, somebody paid me to do this. So I'm gonna go do it. So there you go. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Uh, yeah. You see it any other fucking way than that? Are you kidding me? Well, you know, you can't. <coughs> you can't, can't change what? someone else's mind. I'm they not have trying to. to. I know. Who's my doing? You know, when when others interact with us mm. and they <laughs> holy <laughs> nonsense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Been around the block there, Miss Mary. I know all the stories, heard them at least once. There's nothing new to tell me at this point in life. If I didn't hear it already, I wasn't listening the first time somebody told me. So, you know, it doesn't doesn't leave you with a lot. A lot left to chatter about, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But if you want to come in on Tuesday and try it again, I'll be happy to do it with you. Same same in a perfect world time, same in a perfect world channel. Excuse me. You know, at the very worst, we can do a one, and if we're rolling and having fun like today was, we'll do a two. How's that? Okay, well, I'll have to let you know what Tuesday. There you go. Tuesday's I, actually supposed to be nice weather, so I may. See? Well, da, 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 da. I'm not wishing you any da, bad da, luck. Da, 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 da. Maybe we'll see you, maybe we won't. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so we got um, Rob just moved, special um, Rob just moved, dork announcement. And uh, Vinny's down ill with some kind of freaking uh, Vinny illness that only Vinny could get. <laughs> so only Vinny can get rid of it. And, and Duh has castrated pigs and offering his assistance to Moosey. Wow. <laughs> Why would Moose want to be castrated? For her dog. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, it always helps when you give a little bit more information. Yeah, but see, the ignorance work better with a joke than knowing. See, not knowing, ha, 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 knowing, not so funny. <laughs> and with that, no. there's a lineup on the reallibertymedia.com site for all you people to find out what time things are on and not on. Or Mary can tell you <laughs> Uh, it's on the <laughs> schedule. Go to dot com and check out the schedule. I know there's, I know Flash is on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I know Poops no, and Prince not. is on Thursday. Oh, not you're not on that. Thursday? No, it's why. Oh, okay. So uh, Flash is on Tuesday. Tuesday. Poops and Prince is Thursday. And I got to roll. I got a house oh, full of people roll now. because you got a lovely cycle. So yep. see y'all later. See you in the funny papers. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Mary. See you. Love you. Bye.